Hi, I'm James Muir and this is another Make More Noise screencast. What we're going to do today is whip very quickly through three quick tips on automation or little tips and techniques perhaps is more appropriate. Uh, the first two of these are really uh, an expansion on things we've already discussed on the comments on YouTube. So we've got, um, look at my inbox there, on our automating delays video, uh, we had a contact from how I'm, I'm guessing this is pronounced B-flattest. When you want to make nodes on the automation track, you can just make a selection of an area on it, then just grab the section and pull it up and it makes the points for you. Uh, so first of all, I want to say thank you to him for adding that, adding his voice to the conversation. And I thought I would just demonstrate that very quickly for the visual learners amongst us. So here's Logic Open. We've got, let me just pull this in from the other screen, um, Superior Drummer loaded up with some MIDI dragged in from it. And the sounds you're listening to are from the new classic Easy X, uh, which I got to be honest, I'm quite fond of at the moment. So uh, we've got automation switched on already, which you can do by hitting the A key or by clicking the automation button here in the top bar. And so let's demonstrate that theory. Now, if you get your toolbox up, which I do by hitting the escape key, come down and select the marquee tool, uh, or you can use the key command E, as you can see there. And then you can just highlight a section, back to your normal key. And if you just drag the section you've highlighted, as described, you get four nodes you can push up or pull down. Uh, and that's really handy. Yeah, I mean, more, less, let me start that sentence again in English. Um, this is really handy when you're doing vocals. So if you've got a word that the singer's nailed too loud or not quite put enough into, you can just marquee around the word or the phrase or the sentence, and then this will create the four nodes for you either side. So that's a quick and easy way of just automating a pre-selected section. And the next tip we're going to look at, also from the YouTube channel, let's find where that was. So this is, I think is on this one. Uh, yes, uh, this is from Satan is back. One small question in your third track with the green automation data, your lines are like not straight. How do you do that? Thanks. Uh, well, that's pretty simple. Logic actually has a automation curve tool, which again, we can show you very quickly here. So what I'll do is I'll just whack a fade out on the end of this little drum section I've made. And uh, when we hit the escape key to bring up our toolbox or however you bring up your toolbox, you'll notice you've got automation select tool, which I think we've talked about in the past, which is key command Q, and then automation curve tool, which is key command W. If you select the W and then just drag over the automation that you want to curve, you can pull it down, which will give you a quicker fade out. So if added to nothing in almost no time. And again, with the automation curve tool, you can push upwards. You can get yourself weird S shapes. So that will have faded out more slowly. Sorry, so this will fade out more slowly than the first example. And our third tip or technique is useful for the situation we find ourselves in now where we've written some automation, which we're happy with. We like the way that uh, in this section here, the gain changes from 0 dB to minus 7.5, and we're happy with our fade out at the end. But we want to turn the whole track down or up. Uh, so there's a couple of ways you can do that. The first of which is you can grab the first node whilst holding down the Alt key as a key command, which selects all the nodes. And then if you drag it down, you can turn the whole track down. And if you look carefully, you'll see the automation is going down relative. So we keep our automation in intact, sorry, um, but we actually can change the level of the whole track. And the other way of doing it is holding down the Apple key and then grabbing on the little fader here, which you'll notice gives you these up and down arrows. The cursor changes shape from its normal pointy arrow shape and you've got an up and down arrow and you can drag the whole thing down there. And again, it all changes relative. Again, that's particularly, well, I find it particularly useful when I've spent ages automating a vocal for a whole song, you send the mix off to the client for approval and they come back to you and say, oh, we love it, but can we just have the vocal up all the way through? 
and that happens quite a lot in mastering as well where the compression of the whole track changes the balance and you just want one instrument turned up or turned down a little bit but you don't want to destroy your automation you've created the dynamic in the automation and you want to preserve that so they were three very quick tips inspired by our youtube channel with particular thanks to satan is back and to be flattest um and we really hope they were useful for the wider audience. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I've been James Muir.